Okay, so we're not doing that this time. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, welcome to yet a, another video and uh, our October special here. So somebody pointed out that this image, that the uh, that starting point looks like a carrot and that it couldn't have been done any better. And all I can say is... I meant to do that. So hey, this is Kevin, also known as AWOL. So yeah, if you've been following along with the videos like in the sequence that I make them, yes, I know I promised I was going to do the double wide and stuff. And yes, I have gotten off onto this old side tangent because October came and this is kind of fun. It was neat and uh, right. Well, I will get back to that and I will be getting on to some other cool projects that have been promised. But in the meantime, let me just show you what's kind of going on here. So I connected the gray to going to the right and now there's like two coming off to the left. And at that point, we're, we're left with where the green and the orange are. So you'll be able to go to the pattern and you can kind of figure out like, like, so the gray will come down and it'll cover up like three of the orange and then two and then one. And then you have a row before the, the stem kind of comes into it. Right. And mind you that other pumpkin, right there, the, both pumpkins are relatively the same with the exception of like how I did the mouth, right? Just adding in a couple oranges here and there changed the whole look of it immensely and I give you a whole like little diagram thing of like all kinds of different pumpkins so you can you know you can make use whichever ones you want like there is no specific sequence in which you put the pumpkins in there so if there's a kind that you like and you want to just use that all the time yeah sure why not um I just kind of went with these guys. I thought they were kind of cool. The one that I'm making now is totally cool. And thanks, Mr. Motorcycle, for revving up and being part of my video. Jeez. Anyways, um, my timing for like doing these videos, I've been trying, like trying to work around all the construction and everything else that's going on. So, yeah, I don't know. It's sort of a pain. Um, yes, this is all sped up extremely. Um, fast. Um, the reason being, again, this is one of those things where it probably took me a good hour or more. So it would have been a really daunting video. And I don't think either of us wants that. So, um, and you can see here how I've kind of, I had to stop that one wrong. I should have done the gray one first. Um, you can see how I'm trying to do long stretches of knots in a row. Um, I just saw somebody over on Facebook showing off a pattern that they were trying to do something kind of spooky for the holidays, but because it was, um, kind of this sort of style, they were trying to keep the rows sort of straight across as opposed to, and when I say straight across, I mean, like if you took this whole thing kind of diagonally down and coming down with it, which has got to be the, like the hardest way of doing things, I swear. Um, and kudos to her for, you know, having mapped it and figured out and basically, okay, imagine if you had my graph paper and imagine you took a ruler straight across it and coming down. That's the way she was working it and was wondering why it looked really sloppy. Well, that, this is why this is, this is part of the trick right here. Do straight long rows with your knots. Don't do one knot and then go over to the right and do a knot and it doesn't work out as well. It's. I swear by this. All right. And obviously you can see that mine's a little skewed and I kind of let that happen. Um, because, um, I kind of don't want my stuff to look like it was done by a machine. That's a huge thing in my head, right? Is that if it's so perfect, people will look at it and be like, well, you didn't do that. That's a machine. And like, nobody wants to pay like top dollar for something that a machine spits out. Right. So I kind of like the human element involved with these kind of projects. So, um, and that's a personal preference. I mean, there are some people who do amazing work and it's absolutely every knot is perfect. Um, and if that's you and you're, you know, got that OCD thing going for you, um, kudos, you know, I'm not going to knock you for that. That's, that's cool. I just 
I just don't want to be that guy. If I started getting that far, I think it would take a lot of the fun out of it for me. I think I would start just being too obsessed or something. So that's, that's a personal thing. So take it for what you will. Um, yeah. Oh, and so you obviously also saw that other video. You probably thought, yeah, I'd be off on making a bag. Um, I'm totally planning on trying to get the string cut for that here soon. I kind of don't want to have too much. Oops. See, fix the knot. Um, I don't want to have too much out and needing to be done all at once. I just, I know a lot of people do that and they just have like shoe boxes full of partially started projects. I am so opposed to that. I really, that's not even cool. So I will be getting onto the giveaway project. I swear it. I'm not stalling. It's just, there's so much that, you know, to be done. And I want, I want to just clear the slate completely before I do that. Um, and kind of looking at this project here, I think we're going to end up kind of cutting this one a little early you know, as opposed to going ahead and getting the, the two portion of this joined together. Um, so I, <laughs> I know it kind of looks like I'm milking it out for like one more video, but, um, I'm really trying to keep the, some of the, the times down because, uh, basically you guys don't watch all of the videos all the way through and, uh, YouTube kind of looks at that when they're, they're doing their whole, you know, like analyzing like how awesome my channel is or whatever. And if like nobody's like watching the full video, it kind of counts as like a strike against me. So I'm trying to keep like trying to find that like perfect time. Like how long do you guys actually watch? And uh, trying to custom tailor my videos to that, which is really difficult because so many people are like, oh, I like the long videos. And then like, yeah, but you know, I can see the analytics. I can see that that's not really the, the majority. So trying to find a balance. Um, I don't know. Give me your thoughts in the comments. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. So, and you can see, look at that. It looks like he's, the pumpkin's kind of like, ooh. So very, very cool. Okay, so here we have it. Um, let me just zoom in here a bit. All right, look at those faces, man. Spooky. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I think you probably get the gist. You've watched me do enough of these kind of things. Basically, the next one is I'm going to bring it around. I'm going to have to find something to put in between so I don't confuse the strings. But these two edges will come around and this will become a tube. And then the big question is, like, how far should I do it out? Because honestly... I really kind of made this more for you guys than myself because Halloween really just isn't a thing over here in this uh, Southeast Asia. So um, I really don't know. I mean, I'm kind of tempted in trying to see like how many different faces I could put into it. But at the same time, I'm kind of thinking, you know, what am I going to even do th with this thing? Like put on my backpack, you know, in October each month? I don't know. I'm, I'm really torn between it. I'm going to give it some thought. So you're probably going to want to go ahead and hit that notification bell so that way you can come back and see what I've accomplished because even I don't know what that will be at this point. So, all right. Um, hopefully you learned something from this. If you did, hit subscribe. Um, if you have any thoughts or, you know, how what you think I should do with it, how far you think I should take it, um, leave me a comment on that and um, we'll see what we can do. Look at him. This dude looked like he's really freaked out. I like how... Oh, did you notice I did the eyes differently? I don't think I mentioned that before. So these guys all like kind of have that, that suspicious look, you know. They're like, hmm, this this guy here, he's sus. So, you know, er. and he's like, whoa, dude, not cool. So I don't know. I'm just having fun. All right. So <laughs> until next time, don't get your strings in a bunch.